Welcome back to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'll be showing you how to transfer sets from the Ableton Note app to an Ableton Live session on your desktop or laptop computer. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button so you don't miss a session. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, here inside the Ableton Note app, I have a set called Set 3 that I wanna add to the desktop session. And I'm gonna play it for you guys real quick. Something nice and simple. Now the way that we're gonna make this possible is by using Ableton Cloud. You can see here at the top of the screen, it says enable Ableton Cloud. But if you don't have that option, go down here to the bottom left hand corner of the screen and you're gonna see three little dots. It's gonna click here. The first option says Ableton Cloud. So we're gonna click here and we're going to turn this on. When you turn it on, it's gonna take us to the login. So I'm gonna hit accept and we're gonna enter our information. After you've logged in, it's gonna say enable Ableton Cloud. By enabling Ableton Cloud, you'll be able to access your Note projects in the live browser or instances of Note installed on other iOS devices. So we're gonna check these in, hit accept, and it will automatically take us back to the application. So that little option now changes to no sets uploaded. So the way that we're gonna upload this set is to the right of the play button, it's gonna be three little dots. We're gonna click here and we're gonna go to the green option here near the bottom. It says upload to Ableton Cloud. So we're gonna click there and it will begin to upload our set to the cloud. So it's saying syncing, syncing, syncing. Depending on how big your set is, it may take some time. Okay, so now it's saying that it's been uploaded. Let's go ahead and take this now to the desktop session. Now here inside Ableton, we're gonna to go to the top left corner where it says live. We're gonna to go to preferences. Inside of preferences, we're gonna to go to the library tab. It's gonna be here near the middle. So I'm gonna click on library. And the third option down, it says show cloud. Right now this is currently off and we're gonna turn this on. And as we turn it on, notice how inside of places, there's gonna be a word that pops up that says cloud. So let's turn this on. We're gonna close preferences. We're gonna to go to places and we're gonna see here the word that says cloud. Now here at the bottom, it says sign into ableton.com to enable. So we're gonna click sign in. And because I'm already signed into the actual desktop, it's gonna take me directly to this page. So I'm gonna hit accept. I have read and hit accept again and it will redirect us back to the application. So it's gonna ask us if it wants us, if we wanted to redirect us. So we're gonna hit allow. And it will not open up that set here where it says name cloud modified as set three and as a folder. So we're gonna hit on the drop down arrow and where it says factory, these are all your sounds. Import it, we don't have anything imported to the set so it's not gonna have anything. And we didn't make any recordings into the set so it's not gonna show any recordings. Now here where it says set three ABL, it's gonna have a little drop down arrow. And if you wanted to, you can go ahead and click on each track as these are your tracks and these are your clips. And if you wanted to, you can go ahead and click and highlight everything hitting shift and go ahead and drag this into your current session. Or if you wanted to open this up as a new session, you can just double click here where it says set three ABL. I had to create a new um, audio track for my vocal here. And as you can see, it will open up as a new session. So let's go ahead and play this. And you can see that it's exactly how we had it inside of the Ableton Note app. And here you have all your clips that you have if you have any clips. And let's go ahead and save this as a new session. So I'm gonna hit file, save live set as, and we're gonna call this set three. And because I've already done this before, it's gonna ask me to, if I wanted to replace it. So I'm gonna hit replace. And now we have the set saved as a session inside the Ableton desktop. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next session.